Hey, what's up guys? This is BMB and a new tutorial. Today we have a special announcement for all of you guys since we will start a special giveaway in our YouTube channel every month. So all what you need to do is to write a comment in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. About the gifts, we will select one of the posted commands of this video and we will send to that lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select another command to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLCPCB. And we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a command right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Moving to today's project, it's a Node MCU project video since we will create a home automation system controlled by an Android app through Wi-Fi, so let's get started. As always, I start my project with this short description where I collect some information from the internet about the project that we are about to create. So starting with the basics as usual, we need to define first the components of a home automation system. It's simply a system that allows some users to have access to some electrical devices like lightning devices, temperature monitoring, doors control devices, etc. And this access is monitored through a basic application connected to the main system through a wireless or wired protocol. About the automation part, the system is able to adjust some environmental parameters automatically using some actuators and some sensors. For example, the system can read temperature data from a temperature sensor and decides to turn on or to switch off an air conditioner. In our project, we will create the main system which is an electronic circuit board based on a Node MCU dev board which already has a Wi-Fi feature in it and this board will be surrounded by some electronic components like relays, optocouplers, LEDs and sensors. About the sensors, we will use the motion sensor for an alarm detection, a DHT11 for temperature and humidity measuring, and BH1750 for light sensing. About the actuators, we will control some 220 volt AC bulbs and a DC fan. And all these actuators will be controlled through an Android app that we have developed through Blink application. So in this application, I inserted some jobs to read the analog values from the sensors and I placed some buttons to, and sliders to control the outputs. I used SOLIDWORKS software to design this house model which already has sockets for the lightning spots, the sensors and the fan. You can get the STL files from the download link in the description down below. After preparing the design, I have got my parts very well produced through a CNC laser cutting. Moving to the electronics, I have created this circuit diagram that includes all the necessary parts required for this project and I transformed this circuit into a customized PCB design with a house shape in order to get a beautiful PCB design when we order our circuit and to do so, all what I need is to move to GLC PCB the best PCB supplier in order to get the best PCB manufacturing service. After some simple clicks, I have uploaded the appropriate gearbox files of my design and I set some parameters and this time we will use the black color for this project with a golden spot. Just 4 days after placing the order and my PCBs are here. As you see guys, the PCBs are very well produced with the house design shape, the logos and the beautiful golden spots. Before start soldering the electronic parts, let's review the components list of our project so we will need the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, the Node MCU board, BH1750 sensor, DHT11 sensor, motion sensor, light spots, DC fan, the relays, the optocouplers, 
some resistors and transistors, the LEDs and Zener diodes, some screw heater connectors, some seal connectors, and the laser cutter parts. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you want to buy the same components as mine. Now everything is ready, so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB and to do so, we need a soldering iron and a solder core wire. As you see guys, using this PCB is so easy due to its very high quality making and without forgetting the levels that will guide you guys while soldering each component because you will find on the top silk layer a level of each component indicating its placement on the board. And this way, you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. I've soldered each component to its placement about this PCB, it's a two-layer PCB. This means that you can use both sides of the PCB to solder your electronic components. Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. So it's time to move to the software part. I have made this Note MCU code for you guys using the Arduino IDE. And if you still don't know how to use Note MCU board with Arduino IDE, just check the guide video that we are providing through the link in the description down below. About the code, we will test first the circuit board that we have made with this testing code. As you see guys, after uploading the code, we can connect to Wi-Fi automatically and we have here the board is already online and we can control the outputs from distance. Now all what we need is the final code that you can have for free from the download link below. The code is very well commented so you can understand it and adjust it for your own needs. After testing the circuit board, we continue the assembly of our peripherals. The assembly is ready and the next step is the Blink Android application. You need to just run it and configure the buttons and the joys depending on the code that I have provided. And as you can see, we already have the Node MCU online so we can start reading the temperature and humidity values.
and we can read the lightning value too. And also, about the outputs of our system, we can start controlling the actuators by turning on and off the bulbs and the DC fan. And even more, we provided a PWM control signal through a slider in our application to control the brightness of some LEDs. This project is so easy to make and an amazing one and we recommend it for any beginner who try to learn some about the home automation systems but still some other improvements to perform in our project in order to make it much more better, that's why I will be waiting for your commands to improve it. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.